What is going on everyone? I know it's been a while since I've made a video in the year 2022. I wanted to just create this video to just self-reflect on the overall year, talk about what's been happening throughout the year of 2022, not only in the, the stock market, but also kind of give you an overview of what's going on in my life because I want to share with you what I have done throughout the months of, of the year to give you some insight on you know, what I'm doing with my personal life as well as what's to come with the, the current markets as well, right? So we'll cover different areas and you know, I just really appreciate all of you who've been around to support me. I know that you know, I've created videos throughout the, the years now and I will expect to continue to do so in the year 2023, right? Where we can add value into one another's lives, whether it's in financial markets, whether it's personal development growth, right? We'll, we'll talk all about that. And please disregard uh, my two dogs in the back, senior dogs, uh, Butter and Kobe, right? They're, uh, they're in the background there. So, um, I really appreciate you you guys just you know stopping by to, to watching this. So first off, let's talk about just the overall market, right? In 2022, I mean last year, the markets, when you look at the S&P, it was hovering at like the 3,800, close to 4,000 for the S&P, right? Now, throughout the entire year, where we are today compared to where we were when we first started the year, right? The market has dropped by about 20% overall. You're looking at the big, uh, large cap companies. Now, when you look at like individual companies such as Tesla, we've seen Tesla actually drop by about 70% just within 2022 alone. So we know that Tesla is a high quality company. However, that's not to say that it's going to continue to like go bankrupt. We don't foresee that, right? It's a quality company. You know, Elon Musk has branded its company to be one of the, the best companies. But when you look at the trajectory of 2020, right, the company stock ju jumped up so high, right, where people made lots and lots of money. Now, the, the people who were not married to the company stock, right? We're able to take profits. Uh, let's say, for example, if you hold as of today, you know, you would have lost like about 70%, right? So what really goes up comes down, right? But when you're looking at it from a long-term perspective, when you're looking at it from, you know, year over year growth, such as the S&P, it's grown by about 11% every year just with this year alone, right? Uh, it's gone down by about 20%. Now, what does that all mean to us? Yes, we, we don't like seeing you know, our, our, our stock portfolios or retirement funds going down. However, looking at it from the bright side, I hope that you're able to continue to take that consistent approach, right? Because in this type of uh, investment strategy, it's not about quick wins, it's not about you know, gaining on big positive proceeds right then the next day. But you got to look at it from a long term perspective, right? If you're trying to win this, right, you got to have this consistent strategy. And this is why it's so important to to look at it from a long term perspective, right? I see the year 2022 as a way to just continue to, let's say, either dollar cost averaging down or maximizing, like, let's say, if you work like a normal person, investing in your 401k in your uh, ira accounts right taking advantage of the 401k pre-tax at the max of like twenty thousand five hundred dollars and with the uh, roth iras right maxing out that five six k per year annually right so those are some of the strategies and avenues that you can take when you see uh prices overall just with the overall market going down right so that when the stock market starts becoming in the the bullish territory again you'll start seeing your investments compound so right now even though it sucks to see you know the wall street market uh, bleeding out right now right folks who really make it big in the long run 
know that this is the time to actually buy stocks. It's interesting because with human psychology, you you, you tend to uh, buy stocks when stocks are like at the high price. So let's say like with Tesla before, I mean, people would buy Tesla when the price was like at a much higher price than where it is right now. People are sort of turned off by it. But when you think about it, if you buy at the discount price right now, where it, it's at the you know the lower price you look at tesla i mean during the the high peak it was around 400 right now you look at it it's hovering at the 100 so there you go three times uh discounted price so long term perspective it's a great opportunity let's say if you have the propensity to invest just take those boring strategies i know that with individual stocks we've seen companies just drop down at the basement low right but following that consistent strategy not quitting you'll be all right that's why index funds you know are, are the way to really support your uh, your investment strategies let's say if you believe in single stocks as well that's fine having a separate balance for that but just being mindful of taking these strategies such as index funds in your retirement funds and continue to invest in those areas where you can so that's my takeaway with the overall year knowing that just there's been lots of news going around with uh, 2022 but hey just continue following that strategy that's what i've been doing so at least just looking at it through the lens of finance right we see it as a down year but when we look at it from a five ten year perspective we'll be all right and then we'll we'll we'll, we'll pat ourselves on the shoulder just knowing that we we took the right uh, uh approach right taking the boring strategy sometimes boring works and it it's important that you just follow through with that now aside from that i just wanted to just give you some some updates on my personal life right so just what i've been currently doing in the year 2022 it's it's amazing because i would just like to share with you all i mean my my, my um, channel here is not just about talking about finances right but it's also developing that growth mindset how we can be altruistic right adding value to to our everyday lives right so in the year 2022 i've been developing a personal relationship with just health and fitness right so number one i i started uh, doing resistance training over the years i've been doing more of like running cardio right where i would do long distance running but not so much of just building muscle resistance training now this year i signed up for uh fitness right 24 hour fitness and i've been able to just work on my compound lifts right you know meeting great people in the gym getting feedback coaching and really just trying to improve my technique and it's been very fun because you start developing a relationship to continue to get better such as deadlifts squats bench press and adding in the accessories so lately i've been just very consistent right like just going to the gym every day and you know at most taking one or two days off during the week it's been amazing right my my, my way of thinking with fitness is when you put yourself in that healthy situation where you you test yourself then you will start noticing how your eating will start changing right you'll start focusing more on eating protein fiber right and that's all important for your, for your mind body connection and that's what i've been doing throughout the year and it's been very helpful and i'm very grateful for all of that and you know just looking into the new year right setting goals you know whether it's going to be your goals for setting into the future if you want to be more healthy if you want to uh you know build on your investment strategy or just having a, a increased spiritual life right uh my, my suggestion is you know just setting goals where you want to see yourself change rather than focusing on the number so for example like with me i won't be setting goals where i want to hit like a pr personal record on like a deadlift for example like i want to hit like 500 deadlift right rather than setting a specific number it's more of just setting a consistent uh and and uh, building on that that relationship with fitness right um there's a saying where you know the the man who who walks you know a marathon uh will not walk as far as the man who just loves to walk right because the man who loves to walk focuses more on the journey right and it's not more of just hitting that destination so I, i'm trying not to set goals 
based around numbers or just endpoints, right? But more of just building on that relationship, right? Loving it, building on that uh, mind pump when it comes to fitness and when it comes to just investment strategies, right? We know that in, in the overall stock market, it takes about a year and a half to get out of a, a recession on average. We know that we've gone through downtimes for about 12 months now, right? If we take it based on statistics, right, uh, it's about another half a year or so for it to continue to go down where we would expect to see increases or even longer, right? It may take another year, right, at most or even a year and a half. But overall, it's definitely a time to just continue to uh, invest on uh, on uh, that strategy because compound interest can happen and just looking at how uh, investments uh, grow year over year, it goes about uh, 11%. So that's my key takeaway. I mean, Personally, I've been I've been doing great, right? Uh, I've actually also uh, started doing a uh, OMAD, which is uh, one meal a day, and that's really helped me because I've always had this uh, tendency of uh, just overeating, right? And it's helped me maintain my uh, HbA1c, my blood sugar, right? So I've been just eating like one large meal a day throughout the week, right? I, I, I want to be able to have fun too. So during the weekends, I'll, I'll eat more frequently, right? Even though I'm working out, I know that it's important for you to have a protein on a consistent basis. But I'm overall measuring, you know, how much protein I'm taking on and uh, just making sure that I eat fiber as well. And yeah, I've been just working working out more, eating healthier, and, you know, just being consistent with the uh, continual investments and uh, working as well, my, my normal day-to-day -day job. And of course, you know, just uh, being in a relationship with my fiance and taking care of, you know, my dogs and for the most part, just busy throughout the day. Uh, heading into 2023, I, I won't be hitting, uh, setting uh, specific goals, but really just continue to, to work out hard, right? you know, my, my compound lifts. I mean, I've been improving. I mean, just recently I, I've uh, gone to the gym and I, I tried to do a, a 295 bench press. Uh, I got halfway and failed, but it was good to get that, that failure, right? So that your mind can develop that connection, knowing what it takes to get to the next level. So that, that that's how I see it, how you build that mental toughness, that resilience and heading 2023. I'm just, you know, just really looking at failures and, and building on those failures because without failures, you really won't be able to get to where you want to be in the future. And key aspect is building on that discipline, right? Discipline comes with just consistency and getting that practical uh, experience in. And that's how you ultimately are able to develop wisdom, right? Whether that, that's with life with with uh, your personal side or even with uh, investing right you got to build on that wisdom so uh, i just wanted to create this video to really self-reflect to kind of share with you what i see in terms of what's to come right um 2022 was a very uncertain year right um i hope that you all were able to uh accomplish goals as well and it's important that we look at the new year right heading into 2023 to really see what are your goals right and uh i'd love to hear you know what your goals are you know please update me with where you are um and i really appreciate you all just uh, uh supporting uh, my channel here and let's all grow together uh continue to build on that growth mindset and uh, we'll, we'll talk again and I'll continue to put out the good stuff in the future. So just wanted to say Happy New Year to the end of 2022 and let the gains begin in 2023. Thank you for watching another episode here at All I See Is W. Take care, guys.